Tap into your inner art critic. You're invited out to a unique art competition. It's called Art in the Park. Let's welcome Liz McCoy, the executive director of James Weldon Johnson Park. Welcome back to First Coast Living. We're talking about a very cool art competition. This is already the third year. It's growing fast. You must be excited. It is so exciting. Thank you so much for having me on your show today. Always. I love being here. Yeah. Um, but yes, it is the third annual Art in the Park competition. Uh -huh. And the first year, we had about six artists. Last year, we had about 18 artists, oh 14 goodness. professionals, and and four children uh -huh. and teenagers. Wonderful. And this year, we've got almost 30, oh, 30 wow. competitors. Yes. So it's really it's growing every year. And I'm seeing the, the beautiful pictures there, and you know, you give them their certain squares where they can do their beautiful artwork. Correct. How it works? Each okay. each adult gets a 10 by 10 square. Okay. And then some of the younger competitors get a five by five square right, fair enough yes and uh, you know their arms are shorter <laughs> so <laughs> and we have um they each do a performance or, or they, they each do a chalk drawing of, uh, that's surrounded by a theme okay and everybody uh just comes out we have our patron experience mm -hmm. where you can buy a token and vote for your famous your best and, and, and most famous artist there. And then of course, we have our adjudicated version. So we've got some very professionals within the art world that come out and judge the competition. So wow. the artist can win almost $1,500 for the top prize. Ooh. And the top prize for kids uh, is $500. I love it. Now yes. you got my my attention. And we can even be our be art critics out there. That's huh? exactly correct. So yes. can we watch the artists make their work? That would Definitely. be kind of fun. Yes. Okay. So the event happens on Saturday, March 25th got from it. 12 noon to 5 p.m. But the artists will have been working since 9 a.m. Okay. So they'll be in process. All right. That makes and sense. then, yeah, so three hours of voting time. So from 12 to 3, mm -hmm. You get to vote on that art piece that you love, and then right around 4:45, almost by the end of it, at five o'clock, we're going to announce the winners. So you got to stick around and watch for the winners. Um, we'll of course also have food trucks. No, okay. And um, we'll have a DJ playing mm -hmm. music to set the vibe, and we have the chalk van, so you can come out and do your own chalk drawing on on the chalk van. All right. And of course, also mocha is free on Saturdays, so you can wow. make a whole day of art and and just visit the park, visit mocha, and enjoy yourself. Circle the day. March 25th. I don't think it gets any better than that. And what was your favorite uh, piece last year? Do you Ooh. remember? I know there were so many. You said it's growing so fast. It is. Um, I will say that Christopher Clark, uh, he won the first year. He was the second uh, place winner last year. Uh -huh. This year he's a judge. Okay. Uh, he's but he's <laughs> he's always so his his art is always so wonderful. Yeah, so. I just I bet you meet wonderful people. It's good to see the city showing some. Uh, yeah, we're we're growing in many ways in the arts, and I like to see that. We've got to be proud of that as well. The other thing too is that arts they're kind of a solo when you when you make and create an art piece. Uh -huh. It's a very solo activity, but when we bring all the artists together, mm -hmm. one of the things that they love is the camaraderie of being together and, and creating art together. It brings out even more, right? Yeah, more, more creativity. You got it. Exactly. Well, thank you so much for being on First Coast Living. Thank uh, you. It will be a great event, third year, and it's going to be the best year by far. Head to our website for much more on this, and that is firstcoastliving.net.